When creating PowerPoints with lots of pictures, it's easy enough to end up with a file that is far too large for many purposes, such as emailing to someone or submitting as an assignment through an online course. So this little tutorial is going to show you how to bring down the size of those PowerPoint presentations. There are basically two steps to this. One of them is to compress the pictures. Many times we insert pictures that are large and then we resize them. But when we resize them, we've only changed the physical size of them. We haven't changed the file size. So to do that, we'd come into our presentation, right click, format picture. You could also go to the picture toolbar. Make sure you click on the picture tab and click on compress. And in this case, we don't just want to compress one picture, we want to compress all pictures in the document. Next, you change it, choose an appropriate resolution, either web screen or print, depending on where this PowerPoint is going to be viewed most often. And I would suggest most often that's going to be on the screen or on the web. Make sure that both these checkboxes are checked compressing pictures and deleting cropped areas of pictures and then we click OK. That will go through our entire PowerPoint presentation and it will cast off all the extra data. Click OK and we're done stage one. The second stage is to make sure that we've saved our PowerPoint in such a way that it's as small as possible. If you go into Options and you click on Save, most often this Allow Fast Saves is turned on. If you turn that off, you can reduce the size of your PowerPoint significantly. Fast Saves save your changes as additions to your PowerPoint. So gradually each change contributes to the bloat of your file size. So you can turn this off and then if you do that before you start your PowerPoint your file size will remain smaller. However, your time to save the file will increase. Another way is just to do this. Go to File and Save As and you can do one of two things. You can either save it to a different file name or you can just save over top of your existing file name. Now when we do this notice the file size is 2.2 megabytes. I'll say yes. And when we go File, Save As, it's down to half that size. So between compressing pictures and saving the file as, we have managed to reduce it to less than half. And that's the two methods that are most useful in reducing PowerPoint bloat.